everybody, how's it going? It's your boy Whitey McWhiterson, Garden Sound here. Uh, today we're going to be doing a really special video. Um, and we're going to be talking about DistroKid today. It's going to be the main topic of today's video. After I've been working on Whitey McWhiterson for over an entire year, I thought that maybe it'd be appropriate to show you guys how I get that on Spotify. And the way I do that is through DistroKid. And instead of just mentioning that at the beginning of the video, I thought it'd be far more helpful, and I thought it would actually be far better to show you exactly how easy it is. So in this video, I'm literally going to upload Whitey McWhiterson. This is me, before Whitey McWhiterson comes out, actually uploading Whitey McWhiterson to DistroKid to show you all how easy it is to use DistroKid. Here we are on my desktop, and I've gone through all the hoops to make sure that Whitey McWhiterson is mastered. I've got my album artwork ready. I've got my bird over here chilling. I've got my glass of water. Make sure you're staying hydrated. It's your boy. Let's do it. So I'm going to open up uh, my website and uh, turn off the tutorial for color charts that I definitely wasn't just using to grade this video. Um, we're going to go ahead and mark the... Uh, film distro kit episode off the chart the first thing you're gonna need to do is sign up now i've already signed up i'm already part of their membership um so i'm gonna go ahead and sign in um gmail has very conveniently remembered my password for me thank you gmail boom so right here you can see that i've got two releases um i've got dr smooth up here which was previously uh released this is about a year ago and so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and click the upload button and start uploading so you and me we're just gonna sit here and go down this list together um, I'm going to let it go ahead and debut on all stores. Let's see here. I'm going to say number of songs, six that I'm releasing through DistroKid, one extra for YouTube. Get that YouTube exclusive. Previously released, no artist slash band name. This is going to be Whitey McWhiterson. I'm the first artist named Whitey McWhiterson in Apple Music, and I'm the first artist named Whitey McWhiterson in Spotify. Boom. Thanks for checking on me, DistroKid. Release date. All right, we're going to put this a couple of days out. Um, I might actually go ahead and release this on the 3rd of December. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and give it two weeks. So we're going to say December 3rd, 2018. Release time, we're going to do 12 p.m. in whatever uh, listener's time zone it is. Record labels, Garden Sound Studios. Perfect. Album cover, let's get it. All right, so I'm going to go into my artwork, which was given to me by Citizen, who makes amazing artwork. Um, that would be under Whitey McWhiterson. Let's see here. There it is. Oh, all right, so we've hit a snag. The file must be a JPEG. So let me go ahead and convert this into a JPEG using an image editor. Uh, my favorite is Paint.net. It's totally free. So I'm going to go ahead and open up, let's see here, uh, Whitey McWhiterson, and then we'll go ahead and grab this Whitey McWhiterson right here. Okay, cool. There's the album artwork. Um, Control Shift S for save. And we're going to convert this to a JPEG here. As lossless as possible. We'll use, let's see here. 100%. Boom. All right, that should take care of it. Let's go back to DistroKid. And we'll upload the JPEG. Right on. There it is. Album title. Uh, let's see here. Whitey McWhiterson is the album title, so it's self-titled. Album price, um, it is six tracks, so we will peg it at $5.99. Uh, language, English, primary genre, let's just say hip-hop. That works for me. Secondary genre, let's see, what else choices do we have? Hip-hop, rap, holiday, German, pop? I don't think so. Um, let's see, R&B, reggae, soul. Let's let's say electronic. Is that an, is that an option? Yeah, okay. Oh, Electronic secondary subgenre. Man, I'm cool. Let's see here. I didn't know I was this cool. What was the hip hop and RB? Again. Why not? All right, track number one title. This is going to be Boom. This is going to be featuring Philip Hellset. Boom. And it gives you these nice little hints here. I love that. All right, I wrote this song, songwriter's real name, um, we'll say music and lyrics, first name Gardner, last name William Beeson. Explicit lyrics, yes. Track price, audio file, these are all explicit, so I'll make sure to leave that tag on. Um, Whitey Mixtape, Final Masters, boom, here it is. All right, 
Let's see here. Instrumental. This song contains lyrics. Yep. All right. Track number two. We're moving right along. Spelled that correctly. Let's double check that. Ivan Manilov Ivanov. Slav as fuck. <laughs> All right, your words, not mine, man. All right, so here's some extras we can we can throw into here. Um Let's see. Instagram and Facebook. This album to Instagram's music and stories, which lets Instagram users add your music to their po posts by checking this box. Music may also become available on other Instagram and Facebook products. Let's see here. It's free. Oh, fuck yeah. I'm going to do that. Totally free. Store maximizer. Um, no, that's fine. Leave a legacy. No, Shazam and Siri. No. Okay, so let's talk about leave a legacy. So the thing about DistroKid is it's only twenty bucks a year um, for their for their standard plan, and that's freaking ridiculous. And that's an unlimited upload schedule, so you can upload and upload and upload and upload. Okay, but this leave a legacy thing is interesting because let's pretend that, uh, as it says here, even if I die, um, I can choose to delete it at any time or not. Meaning that you know even if I croak and my music's still up there. It won't just disappear. Um, that's not something that I've done yet, uh, and that's just because of uh, you know funding issues. I'd like to eventually. So um, anyway, so I selected YouTube Music as a store, so I won't email DistroKid later asking why'd you upload me my music to YouTube. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that because I'm actually going to upload this to YouTube myself. Google Play and YouTube Music. Okay, I'm taking it off of YouTube and Google Play because I'm going to upload it there myself. That's important to remember. So if you're uploading this yourself to YouTube later, you're not going to want to do that because you're actually going to be ended up you're actually going to end up copyright hitting yourself. <laughs> um, plus, I want to be able to you know have the option to um, upload it and spread it around YouTube a little bit a little bit easier, and, and that that actually helps me out a little bit. So, um, so I'm going to do there. So I recorded this music. And I'm authorized to sell it in stores worldwide and collect all royalties. Boom. I'm not using any other artist's name in my song, song titles without their approval. Correct. I've read and agreed to the terms of DistroKid distribution agreement. Correct. And we're going to go ahead and click done. So now it's going to verify everything, uh, meaning that it's going to upload all these things individually. It's going to verify my artwork, and then it's going to let me know that it's done. Um, so I'm going to wait on this. And while I'm doing that, I want to talk to you guys about DistroKid's pricing options. So here's, here's our pricing plans. Um, we have Musician, which is $20 a year for one artist or band name, meaning that you can only have one artist uploading at a time. For instance, um, if I had Garden Sound and Whitey McWhiterson, I'd be uploading those two at a time. Um, but me, I have Musician Plus, which is two artists or band names, um, and I can upload things kind of infinitely from there. There's also a label option, and this is really great if you're doing like a net label type of thing. Um, and that's $80 a year. I highly recommend that you check out their services. As you can see, it's extremely easy. We're still going through the verification process here. I'm just double checking that. Um, and and it's, it's really easy to use and it's it's very affordable. Um, so they do, they're doing a lot of service here. It's allowing creators like me that are smaller to actually hit the target audience of Spotify and get out there on digital platforms that I wouldn't otherwise have access to. So if you're interested in taking advantage of this, if you're interested in checking this out, um, DistroKid is a great opportunity for me as a creator if you click the link in the description below you're going to get a little bit of money off and you're going to actually help the show as well so everybody who signs up using the link in the description down below is going to be able to um, do everything like they normally would get a little bit of a discount on their on their uh, on their actual sign up fee and uh, you're going to give a kickback to the show did you guys like the diy episode does my voice sound better than it used to I think it does. The upload is done. Uh, pretty easy, right? I, I mean, they fucking really easy. <laughs> so that that's why I like DistroKid so much. Um, anyway, so this is going to be out um, by December 3rd on most online retail platforms. As you can see here in the fine print, they do like a four-week release date, um, like four weeks in the future. 
Um, I wasn't able to hit that with this one. I do want this to be out before Christmas. Um, so I chose to do it now. Thanks to DistroKid for sponsoring this video. Thanks to you all for watching. And again, if you're interested in taking advantage of $20 a year for unlimited uploads, check out that link in the description below. But as always, my name is Garden Sound. This is Lyle the Bird. We'll see you next time.